sometimes the best thing about this job is to meet real heroes, and today is the ultimate, Maria Joao Piresh. Um, you wrote that music is not a human creation. What did you mean by that? Do you believe it's a human creation? <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> it's also a human creation. It goes through the human, I think. It's our universe, so perception of the universe. Mm. But in terms of the, the, uh, your job is to communicate what somebody else has written. Uh, yes, I'm an interpreter, so mm. being an interpreter is kind of difficult. Mm. You know, I think uh, it's something special. It's, it's like actors, we are exactly the same, same position as actors, having to be 100% faithful to the work mm -hmm. and 100% free at the same time. So it's kind of finding a balance where you are present in a way you are not absent, but you have all the space open for the composer to be himself. Mm -hmm. And this is um, this is kind of a difficult challenge for us interpreters. But I like it. I always loved it. What uh, what role does the audience play in that? In that in that moment of your communication, because you, you you the audience has a very um, important role. I think audience plays with us. It's making making it possible with us. Mm. I mean, I'm not saying that we don't. Of course, we have to work a lot before the audience, but it's the audience is always present mm. because the human kind is present. Mm. And do you feel the audience? Do you, do you like their support? Do you like their encouragement? Yes, yes. Is that the performing side? It's the best, it's the best moment of, of the performance because I, I'm not a, a real good performer in the sense that I like uh, to be on stage. But the best, the best of it is that we, we really share with people mm. something where we don't know anymore who is creating what, mm. or who is playing, who is listening. That I, it's a shared experience. Yeah. And I think the listening is such a hard work um, that then at the moment where I feel people are ready to listen, then I feel um, that the playing is not as difficult as we think. Mm. It's the listener is is very it's very difficult to listen well to music. It's it's really something proactively kind pro of yes 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 to be ready to make a certain amount of silence that is alive, mm. you know, that's communicating, is giving strength and and energy to the to the performer. It's a very special. Um, interaction, very special. It can go and can go very far. It can go until it's real love, you know. Mm. It's like when you walk in the landscape, you love, you feel love for the landscape. It's something that, because it interacts with you, and when you 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 play with people. List that really listen, you feel that love. I think it's very nice. It's, it's interesting you talk about that. We we had I did an interview yesterday with an artist, a f famous artist, who said that they play better up here than anywhere else because they're so inspired by the nature and by the landscape, and it clears so many things. Even though you don't love the altitude, you walked oh, here because you love the I was scenery. I always and the, walk. Yes, yeah. I walk everywhere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, half of my life is walking. Mm. That's nice. That's, you discover so much about about the places where you are and about people. And but just before you were talking about silence, and I don't think anybody knows what silence is anymore. Yeah, that's true. But still, I think we can discover it. We always have an opportunity to, to discover things. Mm. Um, even if your world, the world around you is is against, 
the silence, but the silence is also the moment where you find yourself and where you can have a um, perception of reality. Without the silence, you are always living in a kind of illusion. No? So the silence brings you back to yourself mm. and to the reality. Uh, like this interaction between inside and outside. It's, it's a very nice... Um, um, it's a very nice exercise to see that outside doesn't exist without the inside. And that's the opposite. Because of the yin and yang, I yeah. mean. Yes, you breathe in mm. and out. Mm. So <laughs> when you breathe out, you touch other people that breathe also into you. So it's something that when we understand that, it's very nice. Uh, also, when you play, you can feel that interaction. No. <laughs> when you um, you've talked um, several times about about how music is so important for everyone, and of course all musicians say that, but you've actually done something about it, and you encourage people that wouldn't normally meet music to come and listen to music and to to use its power as a, as a metaphor to use its power for themselves. Yes, all situations where you are free to create and to accept other people's creation this also this relationship with um, freedom in the limit you know mm. it's our it's our uh, destiny no it's to have a limit and in the limit you create the freedom mm. but not outside the limit so that's our life. We have a, a lifetime, and already this time gives us a perception of limit. But then, instead of being um, scared about the limit, is creating the freedom inside. Mm. So the limit is there, but it's a good limit. It's not a bad one. No. So, but you feel your responsibility, or you take a big responsibility on your shoulders to, to, to bring music to the unmusicked. Could be could be called responsibility. On the other hand, I think it is very natural. Mm. It's like when you have your children, you don't abandon them. You educate them. You, you try to, with your children, I'm sure you try to communicate what you think is right, or what you think at least would be good for them. Mm. And this is very important, this is the same. You have generations coming up they will teach you a lot that's for sure mm. they will you will learn a lot with them but they also have to learn with you so it's this is the natural thing talking about responsibility means then how you do it how you prepare yourself to do it it's it's a challenge it's a difficult it can be a difficult thing because you can have bad conscience about certain ways of doing it. And sometimes you have the feeling you are interfering. And interfering is not always good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also not always bad. So it's this balance you have to create that you cannot damage. It's, it's very fine. It's very sensitive uh, work. And there you can talk about responsibility, yes. Maybe I could ask you one more question, because I know you want to go and play the piano. I have to practice a bit. <laughs> you, you said to me this morning that you don't love everything that goes with the life of, that you lead, of, of travelling and everything. How do you deal with that? How do you...? Uh, At this moment, not very well. Mm. Um, there are moments where I feel more courage and I feel more, you know, um, there, are, our life is made of phases of moments where you have, you are strong, moments where you are weaker, moments where you get older and you take distance with reality. You you want some things, and and habits become something uh, very 
um, nasty to you. Mm. So I think at this moment I'm not coping very well. But decisions come sometimes a bit light, but I'm happy anyway. And you know that the world would be a m much worse place if you stayed at home and you didn't come out. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I'm part of the public and you said you count on me, so I have to say that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Rijvai Pirash, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Christian.